Gold Bond Soundbreak XP ceiling boards are designed to keep things quiet. They help reduce the transmission of music, TV, and conversations, along with structural sounds such as footsteps. In addition to noise reduction, these ceiling boards are also mold and mildew resistant, moisture resistant, fire resistant, are Green Guard certified for better indoor air quality, and feature Gridmark's installation guide marks. This video is all about how to install them yourself. We'll take you through the process step by step. Ready to install? Let's go! Before installation begins, fully inspect the ceiling framing for any defects or issues. If you find any problems, fix them before continuing. Store the new ceiling boards flat on the floor. Next, measure the framing spacing to determine the right board length. The board will be applied with long edges at right angles to ceiling framing. Make sure all the drywall end joints will be centered on your framing. It's best to use stilts or scaffolding. With your measurements in hand, you're ready to prep the ceiling board. Mark the measurements on the board and make your cuts. We recommend using a hand or electric saw for cutting 3 quarter inch thick Soundbreak XP ceiling board. Starting in the corner, put the first board in place and align it at a right angle with the ceiling framing. Make sure your boards are of maximum practical length so there's a minimum number of end joints. Now that the board is in place, secure it to the framing with bugle head drywall screws. Each screw should be spaced 12 inches on center. All XP products have grid marks, which are guide marks to assist with screw placement. When driving your screws, try not to tear the face paper and slightly indent the screw head so it's barely below the paper surface. Hold the ceiling board firmly in contact with the framing member as you drive your fasteners. Fastening should continue from the center portion of the board toward the edges and ends. On wood framing, screws should have a minimum penetration of 5 eighths of an inch, whereas on steel furring strips, screws should have a minimum penetration of 3 eighths of an inch. Like earlier, measure, mark, and cut your remaining boards. You'll install the remaining ceiling boards at right angles and bring the board edges into moderate contact with each other, being careful not to force them into place. For best results, seal all penetrations and the perimeter with acoustical sealant. The boards are securely in place, and now it's time to finish the job. Place joint tape along all board joints and on the inside corners. Setting type joint compound is used to embed mesh tape. Paper tape may be used with ready mix joint compound. You'll apply two additional coats of joint compound over the first embedding coat and three separate coats over screw heads. Let each coat dry per the manufacturer recommendation. After the third coat of joint compound is dried, sand with a sanding block or disc until it's smoothed out. Take a look at a job well done. Gold Bond Soundbreak XP ceiling boards are a great way to keep noise where it belongs and provide peace of mind for the owner for years to come.